challenges families face, each household, as far as cooking is concerned. We know, you find that you have gas, you have electricity, you have charcoal, you continue juggling between different energy sources, but of which some are polluting, they are not clean, and the energy bills are high, as if you consider electricity, also refilling. <coughs> so we looked at uh, an opportunity if we can uh, harness solar from the traditional way of harnessing it, because we know all technologies are using uh, concentrators where you cook from outside. But we said, in order for people to adopt our technology, we need to develop an indoor solar program. And that was our motivation. Advantages it have, it has in the long run, you are going to get back your money. But if you say you are going to use charcoal or the gas cooker, what the electricity, you find that if you are not going to use a pressure cooker for electricity to reduce on the energy being consumed, you find that in five years you have bought two Maxol cookers or three. So the Maxol in the long run becomes cheaper. And it is the trend basically all solar based systems, they are always expensive at the beginning. This innovation is very important for our country in many ways. First of all, our environment is being destroyed, even when our population is still small. Our population is projected to double in just 50 years. And if it doubles and we continue using wood energy for cooking, then we are going to not only destroy all the forests we have, but even, even now we are beginning to look for the trees and they are not there. So we have to ferry charcoal from as far as Gulu to Kampala. And that is a, a, a big problem for us. Therefore, it is going to solve the issue of uh, energy uh, for environmental protection. But it, is, it will also produce, uh, when we begin manufacturing them, because this product can be sold in many parts of the world. It can be a source of employment for our young people, but also it can have a, a great impact on our economy. So I must say that... Uh, we are very proud of this product coming out of Makere. Complain that our research fund has been cut this year. And I think that is a shame that as Makere is now beginning to innovate and to come up with the products, then the fund is cut. And there is no way we are going to develop as a country if we do not support research and innovation. And I want to appeal to the parliament of Uganda and to the government to reinstate the money that was cut from our budget for research and actually to double it because the benefits far outweigh the amount of money that will be given. Every university, public university now, especially those which are science-based, uh, has an innovation fund uh, that helps uh, the researchers to at least start on the basic work. And then even at the secretariat level now, we, uh, we are increasingly giving uh, funding uh, to researchers that in critical areas we can start from scratch but in some areas uh, such as what we're witnessing today we start with someone who has a prototype and we push them to the next level.